down with mother time welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing halloween and fall crafting i have some brand new halloween and fall crafts i think you are going to love so i cannot wait to get started also to the free september printable collection just launched on the blog so you can download it for free you can download the entire collection or just the prints you want they all are in eight by ten and five by seven you can just pop them in a frame for easy peasy decorate i'm going to show them to you now so i'll include a link for these in the description below and this is how they come. It's a PDF, so you can download these right in your home. Or if you don't have access to a printer, you can send them to your local print shop like Kinko's or FedEx or any of those shops, and then you can print them there. So this is just your cover page, and I'm going to show you some of the prints. So this is the Haunted Farmhouse Collection, and I absolutely love it. So this is Welcome to Our Haunted Farmhouse. Super, super cute. I love this, like, in a black frame. It would look super pretty in that. So you could just pop it in a frame. And what I love about these, this principal collection is that every month you can change these out for easy peasy decorating. It's great for seasonal decorating. And again, it comes in a five by seven too. The next one, they all coordinate together. It's a simple boo, but isn't that cute? I just love how everything coordinates. Then you have trick or treat. Look at it, it's trick or treat with the crow. I love the crow and the trick or treat on there. And then October 31st, because it's Halloween, so it all coordinates together. And then this principle says Happy Halloween, and it is the same one. Witches go riding and black cats are seen. I love this. This has actually been on the blog because I have a scroll DIY with this, but I did distress it more so it goes with this collection. So you can frame it in an 8x10 or a 5x7, or if you want to make the scroll with it, it is also available so you don't have the cut lines and you can make a scroll with it. And the scrolls are so easy because you just roll a piece of paper and you can uh, attach it to the top and the bottom and then just add some twine to the top to hang this and I'll include a link for that in the description below but if you want the distressed one it is in this printable collection too and then I also have in the collection Old Salem's black hat in how cute is that again you have the cut line so you just cut it down once you print it pop it in a frame and then everybody loves the boots so of course I have to include a boot in each of my monthly printable collections and this just says happy Halloween and then I included this in last month's, and I also have had these before too, a candle wrap. So you can purchase those candles at Dollar Tree, the Thin Pillar candles, and then pop these on here too. And it's just an easy way to decorate, and I love how this coordinates with it. You just cut it out, and you can tape it right onto one of those pillar candles. Of course, I included some tags, so these are just super cute trick-or-treat tags. And I love using these because then you can just buy a bag of like cellophane, cellophane bags, put some little trick or treats in there and then wrap them up got a cute little bow in this tag for easy peasy gifting and then I always love to include some layering pieces too so I have two layering pieces so you could take one of the prints and I'll just find one here and then coordinated so if you like to layer pieces like that I just love the way layering looks of course you can go into the past collections there's layering pieces in those too so every the, every month this is a free collection you can download for free on the blog there will be a link in the blog post for all of the other past collections too so you can take a look at those if you've not seen them before but it's just a great way to deck your walls or to frame and put in your on a shelf or anywhere in your home so anyways you guys if you are new here to my channel again welcome um, I love sharing home decor, cooking, and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos that you enjoy watching, make sure you click the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. So who's excited to start doing some Halloween and fall crafting? I am. So grab yourself a pumpkin spice latte or a hot apple cider. Sit back, relax, and let the Halloween and fall crafting begin. First up, I'm going to make a candy corn using the safety cone as well as yarn from Dollar Tree. First, I spray painted the base of the cone with brown spray paint. Once the spray paint is dry, I'm going to add some hot glue to the bottom of the cone and then start wrapping the yarn around it. I really love the color and texture of this yarn and all of this yarn again came from Dollar Tree.
Once I went about a third of the way up, I attached the end of the yarn with hot glue. I found this large safety cone in the auto section at Dollar Tree, but they also sell in the toy section at Dollar Tree a smaller two-pack of safety cones, so you could do these candy corns on those as well. Once I got to the top of the cone, I added some hot glue and then laid some of the yarn on top. I love the texture of this yarn, so it was really easy to work with. And for the final touch, I added a buffalo check bow and a button. And look how cute this candy corn turned out. I styled my candy corn, adding a hopped wreath around the base, and then I added some other fall decor. Next up, I'm going to make the cutest ghost. I'm starting with these balloon yard stakes that I found at Dollar Tree. I'm only using one of the plastic sticks. You could use two to make a larger one if you wanted. And then I'm going to insert the plastic yard stake into this pumpkin foam, also from Dollar Tree. Once I push the stake into the stem, I add a little hot glue around the base as well. Next, I'm going to cover this with one yard of fabric. This is fabric I had on hand. You could use muslin. You could use an old bed sheet. You could even use a garbage bag to make this. Once it's covered with the fabric, I'm going to tie it nice and tight with ribbon. Then I cut out eyes and a mouth using some black fabric I had on hand, and I'm going to hot glue that to the face. I just love how cute this ghost is and weather permitting, you can make a bunch of these and line your driveway or sidewalk with these. I'm using this indoors. So I have a planter from Dollar Tree. You can find any planter you have on hand or from Dollar Tree. And then I'm adding some floral foam and I'm going to pop my cute little ghostie in it. And look how cute this ghostie is. I absolutely love it. I've actually made a few of these and I just think these are so cute throughout the home. Just so festive for Halloween. Next, I'm going to make a super cute Halloween candy bowl. I'm using this plastic pumpkin. It was orange and I spray painted it black and then added a buffalo check bow on top. This black and white candle holder are from Dollar Tree. The wooden one I had from TJ Maxx. You could use any candle holder you had on hand or check the thrift store or TJ Maxx, anywhere you could find one. And then I'm simply going to hot glue my pumpkin onto the candle holder and look at how cute. I did use hot glue and it is nice and secure, but for a permanent hold, I recommend using E6000. I just love how cute this turned out. It really elevated this pumpkin pal and it's very nostalgic for me too. So I hope you like this idea as well. Next up, I'm going to make some cute little ghosty lanterns using these glass vases from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to spray paint them. I'm using Rust-Oleum in the color Heirloom White. Once I have it spray painted, I'm using a black painter's pen, and I'm going to draw on a ghost face. And look how cute this is, super cute and simple. Then pop in a tea light and get a little subtle glow. I absolutely love it. But I'm also going to add a little buffalo chap ribbon on top to make a cute little handle. I've shared this idea also on Instagram. For that one, I did nautical rope. You don't even have to do this. I just love this little added touch. Mm -hmm. 
This is a battery operated tea light that is also on a timer. I love that it has a timer. I'll include a link for these in the description below. And you could even pop this on a candle holder too. And look how cute this is. And here is another ghost idea using these tinsel ghosts from Dollar Tree. This is super simple and wait to see how cute these turn out. First, I'm carefully removing the mouth and the eyes so I can reuse it. Next, I'm going to be covering this with a sock. This sock is from Dollar Tree. You can pick up a pack of these and I'm simply going to cover the ghost with a sock. Next, I'm going to attach back on the mouth and the eyes. And look how cute this turned out. Such an easy transformation. Now I want to show you another idea. If you love more of a primitive look, you could coffee stain your sock. So I simply took my sock and I just poured some coffee on it. This was from a pot of coffee I had from the morning and easy peasy. I just kind of wrung it out and it stained my sock. So it gives it more of that primitive look. So I did the same thing. I covered it with the sock and now I'm going to attach back on the mouth and the eyes. Both of these ghosties are so cute and such an easy transformation using a sock. Next, I'm going to make some rustic, primitive jack-o'-lantern ornies. These could also be used as bowl filler or put these anywhere in your home. They're so cute. Wait till you see how they turn out. These jack-o'-lantern ornaments are from Dollar Tree. I'm simply going to apply a thin coat of gloss Mod Podge on top, sprinkle them with cinnamon, and then dab Mod Podge on top, and then I'm going to set them aside to dry. While the Mod Podge is still wet, I am sprinkling them generously with cinnamon. Then I'm going to tap off any excess cinnamon and then dab Mod Podge on top of the cinnamon. Next, I'm going to set them aside to dry. If it's a warm, sunny day, place them in the sun and they dry super quick. Next, I'm going to take this rusty orange fabric from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to cut out some circles to attach it to the back of the pumpkins. Next, I'm going to add some hot glue onto the pumpkin and place my fabric on top.
To cover the backing, I do have three more pumpkins already made up and I'm going to hot glue those to the back to cover the fabric. If you don't plan on flipping them around and you wanna save on the pumpkins, you don't need to do this step, but I had a few extra made, so I'm going to hot glue them to the back so they are covered on both sides. And look how darling these primitive jack-o'-lanterns are. I love them. I've seen similar ones at local shops and they were definitely a lot more. Now I did make some twine bows and I'm hot gluing that to the top. I'm covering the hole with the bows, but if you wanted to, you could even fill that with some wood filler. And lastly, to go with my collection of primitive jack-o'-lanterns, I'm making a cute little stamped muslin tag. So I'm stamping the word pumpkin patch. I'll include a link for these clickable stamps in the description below. They are from Michaels. I love these little pumpkins tucked anywhere in your home. They're so cute and festive for fall and Halloween. Keep the Mod Podge and cinnamon out for the next project. I have this foam pumpkin from Dollar Tree. First, I'm going to take another one of my tea lights. This is a battery operated tea light that is on a timer. You could use any battery operated tea light you have. And I'm simply going to trace it out so I can cut out a hole. And I'm cutting the hole out slightly smaller so my tea light will fit in there. Next, I pop back in my tea light so it fits nice and snug. Next, I'm going to coat my pumpkin with gloss Mod Podge and while the Mod Podge is still wet, sprinkle it with cinnamon and then dab Mod Podge on top of the cinnamon. Once I have it all coated, I'm going to set it aside to dry. If it's a warm, sunny day, place it outside and it will dry really quick. And so my tea light matches my pumpkin. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm adding a coat of Mod Podge onto my tea light, sprinkling it with cinnamon, and then I'm going to dab it with Mod Podge on top and set it aside to dry. And this is how it looks once it is dry. I love the rustic look. And now I'm going to pop in my tea light. I love the primitive look of this pumpkin. You could pop this anywhere in your home. I love it on top of a wreath. This is a hops wreath that I had on hand. You could even elevate this pumpkin and hot glue it onto a candle holder. So many ways that you can decorate with this in your home. I even love it with the pumpkin ornaments that I just made kind of scattered around it too. I ended up placing this on a stand that I had on hand along with the hops wreath and I love the way this looks. Thank you. 
Next up, I'm going to frame a few of my prints from the September printable collection, the Haunted Farmhouse. I love doing this. It's just an easy way to switch out your prints seasonally, grab some frames. You can get them anywhere, craft store, TJ Maxx, thrift store. These are ones that I had on hand. And then I just swap out my prints every month when I do a new printable collection for easy peasy decorating. Again, this printable is available for free to download on the blog. I'll include a link for it in the description below. And then I just wanted to add one little touch to the mat. So I made a buffalo check bow and hot glued it to the mat. And I love that little subtle added touch. I'm also framing the crow trick or treat print in an eight by 10. I love that these come in an eight by 10 and a five by seven. So you can do a few of different sizes to have them coordinate throughout your home. Also added a buffalo check bow to this one as well. And these frames don't have the glass. Sometimes I use the glass, sometimes I don't. I wanted more of a matte look, so I took the glass out of these frames. And these are how they look layered together. I love that look. And then you'll also notice that I have the candle with the printable with that on it as well. I love the coordinated look. Next up, I'm going to make a scroll with this happy Halloween print. You will notice in this printable collection, this comes in a five by seven and an eight by 10. This one also has a larger one that doesn't have the cut lines. So I printed this out regular copy paper. You could use cardstock if you wanted to. Then I took two more sheets of paper. I'm going to roll them up, attach them with hot glue and then attach them with hot glue to the top and the bottom of this print. Next, I'm going to thread some twine through the top of the scroll and tie a knot so I can hang this. And just like that, I have a super cute Halloween scroll to hang in my home. I'm also going to show you how to use one of the candle wraps also from the free printable collection. I simply print it out and then I'm going to cut it out. And then I usually use double sided tape, but I didn't have any on hand. So I just added a little hot glue to my print and I'm going to add it to one of these candles from Dollar Tree. And of course I couldn't resist adding a bow. So I have a little polka dot bow that I'm going to hot glue to this as well and quick and easy. And I love how this looks coordinated with everything else in this principal collection. This would make a super cute gifty too. Last up, I'm going to take this tinsel wood chat from Dollar Tree along with a pipe cleaner and I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to insert it into a black sock. This is a sock from Dollar Tree. You could use whatever sock you have on hand. I'm going to push that pipe cleaner up to the top and then I'm going to wrap this sock over my witch hat. And when I add the sock over the witch hat, I make sure that the pipe cleaner stays up a little bit because that'll give it a cute little bend at the top of the hat. Next, I'm going to spray the hat with spray glue. This is spray glue from Dollar Tree. Then I'm going to sprinkle it with some cinnamon and dust the cinnamon off with a paintbrush. Cinnamon gives this hat a really nice rustic primitive touch. And once I like the way it looks, I'm going to seal it in with additional spray glue. 
Finally, I'm going to tear a piece of homespun fabric. This is from Hobby Lobby. Wrap it around my hat and tie a knot. I'm also going to make a cute little stamp tag as well. These clickable stamps are so easy to use. I get questions about them all the time. They are from Michaels. I will include a link for them in the description below. I hot glue that to my hat along with a button. And look how darling this witch hat turned out. Can you believe this was a tinsel hat from Dollar Tree along with a sock? I love the way this turned out. Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know what your favorite craft was from today. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.